folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the wild landscape of Scotland and for today's adventure I've actually come to see a cool bit of history I was here one time before but it was probably like a couple of years ago and it's a cool kind of like piece of abandoned history here at the roadside I believe it is owned by National Trust nowadays but it actually looked like the door was open on the front of it when I came driving down the dual carriageway and this is the incredible Fenevan Ducat, folks. I absolutely love to see it. Just check this out. This back wall is obviously supported from the wooden brackets. And I believe this must have been the Ducat for Fenevan House or Fenevan Castle, which we did explore the old abandoned Fenevan Castle recently on a video. But there's actually a current newer Fenevan Castle, and I believe this Ducat would have been built to serve that castle because at a certain time every stately home or big house in Britain had to have a ducat because I believe the navy back at that time used one of the ingredients out of the bird dung to make their gunpowder back in the days when the navies had the big wooden ships with the cannons like firing out the hole in the side and I can see the walls is actually cracking and bulging and leaning out and that's how it's often cool on the video, just to come and document the history that's on show before it's gone forever. This is actually the main dual carriageway here between kind of Aberdeen and Dundee would be the two main cities at each end of this. Yeah, check this out. You can see it's been made with the brick with then this kind of veneer over the top of it. Well, it's like the... What's the word for it again, folks? The stone harlan, that's what we would call it here. And you can see what's below the stone harlan, because it's starting to like flake off, probably with the wintry conditions. Yeah, see what I'm thinking is the other day when I drove past, they were maybe in here like cutting the grass and maintaining the property. Wow, folks, I would absolutely love to go ins inside and have a look at this, like, but as you can see, it's proper. Today it's locked once again. You can see it's like a pile of rubble and probably as that back walls fall down the little squares for the pigeons to sit in most likely are starting to crumble and fall away yeah the door's locked folks i was trying the handle because i would love to have a look in you can imagine the squares in there i don't know if it can actually come out on the camera there's actually on the back wall squares where the little pigeons would have sat that's obviously where the name pigeon holes come from. You can also see there's likely been a coat of arms or a certain level of detail here within this structure. Probably with the family crest from Fenevan Castle. Yeah, look at this roof structure, it's so cool. It's quite windy out and about today, folks, so this is actually quite a sheltered location for a video, and I just love seeing the way they built these back in the day. You can see on the architecture, there's actually a stone shelf along the back of the roof, and that was to give the birds more areas to sit on. Same with this stone slab, you can see. It's like a little perch, so the birds had plenty of areas to sit and chill out, and I think that's also the reason that it was stepped on the architecture, instead of being just a smooth slope. And that's the kind of details with a place like this that would almost go unnoticed or unseen. But you quite often see it on ducats where these slabs are in the construction somewhere to allow the birds to chill out. Also, you can see how the little openings have been along the front of these sections here. And that's where the birds would have gone out and into the structure. And then these doors would have been for the people coming to empty them out. I'm, I think back at that time, they were likely to have actually built... You know, I just heard a beast down here. Some sort of animal running about in the weeds here. But I, at that time, they would have actually eaten the eggs, likely as well, from the birds. It was probably a bit of a delicacy back at this time. But yeah, it's just a short wee video. I was intrigued to see if the door was actually open, but it must have been open the other day because they were carrying out maintenance or whatever in this area. And it is good to see that these places are still looked after. I think last time I came there was still some harlan actually hanging on the wall here. And that shows that maybe they were taking that off to kind of make it more safe. So if people were walking around it or whatever, they wouldn't get hit with the fallen masonry. 
Yeah, look at it, all this has been taken off at this side. That's why it's so cool to come and record these places. Even though I was here before, you can now see the difference. Here's another interesting detail, folks, that you wouldn't have seen when the Harlan was still on the wall. See how the original structure here has been built out of the proper stone, and then at a later time you can see the line. These red bricks have been used here to actually... It's like this structure has had a whole new front put on it, or a new face in, at a different time. Or certainly, that for some reason, there's different stones been used here. It's maybe had a whole new roof section, or it was maybe even enlarged at a certain time. So many years have passed since places like this were in their prime. It's just so cool to see what's left today, document what's left. Maybe at one time the front wall fell out of it, the same way it looks like the back wall is now supported for that reason. Once again you can see these slabs right around the structure, which used to allow the birds to sit down there. And whatever else they would have done back in the day, they were probably breeding and multiplying. And there was probably somebody on the estates back at that time who would maintain and look after the birds. Probably clean these places out to a certain degree. It's just magical to see, folks. The size of this is absolutely huge. And you can see on the back, there's two different layers of stone there. So the birds just had so many places they could go and stand. Shout out to the National Trust as well. It's good to see when these places are getting cared for and like no longer just abandoned with nature and time taking over. Often the weather, once it starts getting into a place like that, it just doesn't last long at all. The bricks start to crumble and degrade. I can actually see an interesting detail at the back. It's got the rough stone, which looks like it goes all the way up to that top line, and then it's the red brick above that. So I'm not sure if, like, maybe in the, at a certain time, I'm not sure what sort of year it would be. Sometime in the 1800s, I'm guessing, like, they must have changed this and modified it, maybe to look even more grand. This was maybe actually here from the time of the original Fenavon Castle. And then when they built the new Fenavon Castle, they maybe also updated and upgraded this ancient ducat, which actually lies probably like two or three miles from Fenavon Castle, but I believe this was the Fenavon ducat. Here it is once again on the channel, folks. Documenting more history, hardly seen, hardly documenting. And when you travel up and down the main dual carriageway there, you often see the front of this place. But the back of it and the architecture of it up close is just cool to see. And I love the details on the top. It's not just the plain roof line. There's a lot of cool masonry details and little designs that they've used just to make it look cool. There's a lot of tractors and stuff just now as well, kicking the books. It's proper the heart of harvest time here in Scotland. All the combines is going, farming's just going flat out just now. They're making the most of this incredible weather to get all their crops harvested. It's cool to see, folks, but I just thought when I was passing by this, I would come and document it once again, tell the story of the history here of the Fenavon Ducat, owned by the National Trust of Scotland. And from what I'm seeing, it looks like they're starting to do more fresh maintenance on this site, which is proper cool. And if they do ever have it opened up for the public to come and have a look, I'll come back and visit it and we'll document the inside. But it is cool to see the different level of decay on each of these ducats on the different estates over Scotland. And also it's cool to see the different architecture that was used to build them. An interesting thing we like Edsel Castle, they had actually modified an original building on the site to be their ducat because it dates from obviously really ancient times before the days of Ducat's like yeah anyway folks that's me pretty much back at my car it was a cool wee short video I often enjoy doing that we'll just take a quick walk around the historical wonder document it as it stands today and tell the story of the local history look at this there's some old stone here maybe an old drain lid or something it's maybe not even like related to the site as such like but yeah anyway I'm going to end this one here folks it was a cool wee adventure and I'll be back soon with the next one, wherever I end up going.